Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Ashrock AM1BM a budget motherboard for a budget system and without further to say let's get right into the box and see what's inside okay so inside we have the drivers just the piece of metal, just the basic piece of metal for the motherboard connectors and a manual that it's pretty much useless I mean most people don't use it but if you use it it can be useful so now let's see the connections of the motherboard and the motherboard itself okay so what we have of the outer connections just the basic monitor connection a four four two point oh excuse me USB connector connections and two three point oh USB connections and Many reviews and sites say that there are no 3.0 USB connections, but there are actually two. And just an Ethernet connection and mic and the mic and bunch of other stuff. Very basic, very simple. Just enough for me. Just enough for my needs. Here we have the DTR3 RAM. Two, takes two slots of DTR3 RAM up to 32 gigabytes, but the problem here is that 600 oh excuse me 600 megahertz, but it only works at single channel. It doesn't work in dual channel, which sucks. But I guess it's okay. One PCI two for the graphics card, and all the bunch of the other basic stuff of a motherboard. Now, a few things about this motherboard. The best CPU to be combined with is the Athlon 5350 and yeah, basically that's all. Um, you can overclock it with this device if you're new. You just need, you can do it from the BIOS, you have to download some apps like CPUs or GPUs I suggest you to go only until 2.4 GHz with this, with this motherboard many guys go to 2.52 GHz with the same processor but uh, that, motherboard, that motherboard is not so good so I would suggest you go only as far as this and you actually if you have two fans two 120mm fans you don't actually need anything or like a new cooler for the CPU or water cooling or I don't know just two fans and his own cooling system that comes with the processor also I have an HD Radeon 54, 5450 running at 650 MHz and I'm going to overclock both of them the processor at 2.4 GHz per processor and the GPU at 770 megahertz and if you guys want a better review about this write me down below in the comments so I think that's all very basic system you know you can actually play some games like multiplayer famous games like League of Legends, CSGO or Dota 2 at medium and high settings um, Maybe run some office tasks and watch some movies and surf around on the internet. I guess that's all, uh, guys. Uh, that's all. Just a little system that I actually paid like 100 euros for this, but I had the, I had a hard drive, a PCU, and a case, so I had only to buy like oh any DVD player I only had to buy the motherboard the processor the RAM I actually could a good one RAM at 4 gigabytes 
And if you want to see the whole system works, uh, if you want more reviews, write me down below in the comments. I'm sorry I'm making many mistakes at this video, but this is my first English video. So, yes. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope it was helpful. Bye.